Um, so uh, the next video is another bout analysis thing. Um, people seem to like these, um, so I've got a couple of complete bouts that we can do. Uh, this one is not sword and buckler, it's sword and dagger. Now, I've got to admit, for 20 years I hated sword and dagger. I thought it was a stupid combination until I discovered the existence of the English alehouse dagger and then everything made sense. Um, and now, I really like it. Um, and so this is a, a rather nice sword and dagger bout between myself and Grizzly, who's probably my best sword and dagger student. And uh, while we're told that the single sword fight, the sword and buckler and the sword and dagger fight are all kind of closely related, um, the weapons do make a difference. So you'd notice in the sword and buckler that we had the other day, it was very freewheeling, lots and lots of swinging through because as soon as you get your sword stuck and bound by the other person's buckler, you're dead. So you've really got to keep it free and moving and cutting through and not allowing them to bind you with the buckler. Um, the dagger fight, on the other hand, is much, much closer and tighter. Um, so working almost entirely from sort of variable fight. Um, just because that's the nature of the weapon. So anyway, here is the sword and dagger fight. And this really is the game. Get that dagger binding the sword on the outside, opening up a line for a reverse cut. And if Grizzly can get his sword covering the outside and dagger covering my dagger, then nothing happens, as in that exchange there. You'll see quite a lot of that. She said she loves some other man and would not marry me since she's turned me down. And there it is again. Legs really the only other vulnerable target. So here, Grizzly steps straight forward instead of offline, allowing me to parry his sword with my dagger and cut at his leg. So there's a little inadvertent hit on the outside of Grizzly's arm there. I would hardly count that. This, on the other hand, is good because I get that outside bind and reverse cut again. So here, um, I try a feint. I cut to the feint to the outside and then cut to the inside. But Grizzly simply cuts through the, the time in the middle of my feint and hits me on the shoulder. So Grizzly manages to matrix his way out of that one. This is just a lazy false time from Grizzly. He steps forward without really doing anything with his weapons, allowing me to stop cutting in the leg. So here, as with the butler in the previous video, I'm supporting my hanging guard with the dagger, making a very firm structure. Um, which means Grizzly's attempt to sort of strike into it and work on some sort of second intention attack doesn't work. I can take his attempted blow or beat and simply uncross at an available target while covering myself with the dagger. Since a stranger came along, he stole my darling. Definitive happens here, just goes to show you short and dagger can be kind of messy. Here on the other hand I get a good solid dagger parry and a line for a nice clean outside riposte. Grizzly sword is nowhere to help him. 